Hey everybody, it's NickyV97, and this is part uh, 19 of my walkthrough on Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. In this episode, we are going to go over here. Now, they said that we should go somewhere and put something here, and the puny orb is that thing. Now, when you do that, all the punies will be like, oh, shiny, stingy. And once enough punies step down on this platform, um, like, they'll, um, push that down, even though they were standing on it before, but now I guess they're standing on it really hard. And in order to um, get them off, you have to remove the puny orb, which can be a little bit annoying, but yeah. Oh, hello. And I jump on your face. Jump on your face? Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so... Hmm. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch and body slam this poor son of a gun. You have no idea what's about to happen! Boom. And then I'm going to power smash you. Boom! And you don't even get a chance to attack. You poor bastard. And weird all the stage fell, or the bushes in the background fell down, but it didn't hurt me. Okie dokie. Alright, so here's the thing that you can do. If you put the puny orb right here and move over to this side, you can actually blow the punies off the edge and they'll pop up in these little bubbles. You blow them over to the other side. Nope. Yeah, some of them won't cooperate. And you'll have to, you know, actually blow them over like this. There we go. Now we take back the puny orb. Oh dear. Okay, we're good. Alright, now let's go down here. I think that was where we were supposed to go. If not, we're going in a complete wrong direction. Alright. What now? What now? What now? Oh, crud, we got a new enemy. Alright, so... Alright, so these guys are Piters. Uh, they have 5 HP, and uh, they have a nasty habit of uh, getting, getting out of your reach of certain weapons. So Koops is kind of difficult to use these guys on, and they spit rocks at you. And some of them shoot more than one, so that can get kind of annoying. And when they're up like that, you kind of have a hard time uh, getting your uh, jump attack to work on them. So, yeah, that can be a pain in the butt. And again, with the bushes falling and not really doing anything. <sighs> I've got to work on that. But anyway, they're dead, and that's all that matters in this game is killing spiders, because I know I'm going to get popularity for that. Oh dear, I think I lost a couple of them. Oh dear, I left those other ones up there. That's fantastic. Oh, and there's a thing. Hello. Alright. Now, you guys, are you still up here? Stupid. Alright, so... Hmm... What is this? Ah, there we go. We can move that. And then fly like an eagle. Into a wall. <laughs> and then fly this way. Come on, come on. Yes! And that is how you get shine! Alright. That is how you do it! So you do it on the streets. I wouldn't know, but I assume that's how you do it on the streets. I don't know. I'm extremely white, have you noticed? Like, offensively white. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a problem then. 
Okay, so yeah, that was that was stupid. So anyway, let's go ahead and kill you for hurting Flurry. How dare you? And such. And then I kill the spider because nobody likes spiders, except for weird people. Eh, I really don't have anything against spiders, I guess. Although, that's not really a spider because it looks like it only has seven legs. Oh wait, no, no, no. Two are holding onto the top of it that I couldn't see. There's eight legs on that thing. So it is a spider. So we're completely justified in killing it. Because spiders are icky. What more justification do you want? Come on. There we go. Gotcha. Stupid piranha. Oh dear, that's a that's a lot. Hmm. Hey, I got all my uh special points back. Time to use them. All right. Let's see if I can get this to work. Going quiet. Doing good. Yes! Perfect! That is what a perfect one looks like. A perfect one can hit any enemy on the board for six damage depending on defense. If there's some defense, then I think that it'll take away a little bit. But yeah, they'll still do really, really well for you. Alright, so we cleared out everything from down here. Let's go back up there. Because these guys are apparently clueless as to what the heck they'll do without you. And you can't just jump down because they won't follow you because they're scared of heights or something. But they have no trouble dropping down a big-ass pipe like this one. Uh, continuity would be nice. What's that? Okay. Mario just... Mario just said that was a job. Based on what Jennifer said, they've been helping the intruders try to seize the truth. I've tried to be enemies for a long time now. Ever since... Every time we meet, we fight a lot. But I used to get along with Jabby. Or Jabble. He's of the Jabby tribe. I wonder if even Jabby is my enemy now. Oh, this is sadness. But we must go and fight and kill them. Because, you know, that's another thing about Mario. Completely justified in killing these guys, too. And oh goody, there's a siren. Everyone is the Jabbies! It's a 10 Jabby squad! Let's get them! Come on, Mario! And... What can really help... If you use, uh, what, what's her face, uh, Flurry, to blow some of them away, then, uh, then, uh, you'll actually kind of help them out. Unfortunately, you can't really attack any of them yourself. Well, you did it! We defeated every last job here! Now to destroy the job in High Fortress! And call me predictable, but I'm going to go ahead and take a guess that uh, Jabble, the one that what's his face uh, Puny was talking about, is going to come into play somewhere in this level because th this game loves to shoehorn in uh, stuff like this. Puny Star Moon Sun. Okay. Well, that's a thing. What's in here? A blue key! Yes, with this key you should be able to open the cell like people are locked in. Hurry up to free my sister with the others. Okay, um, but hang on, let me see here. That thing on the bottom looks suspiciously usable. I'm going to look around a little bit. Oh, what is this? And they'll never come back, and that's that. What? And what's going to happen to us? And Hey, by the way, what's that thing you've been holding on to so tightly? It's a mushroom. It's a mushroom. Oh, not to be, you know, rude, but it looks all dry and wrinkly and gross. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. 
I meant to tell that I could give it to my brother to eat, but then I got captured and stuck in here, and after a few days, it dried out. Ew. Oh, really? Great story. Anyway, don't worry so much. All my complaining aside, I'm sure Puny will... What? No, you were just saying how it was never going to come back, and we were all doomed, and they are going to eat us and put us in a stew. It, well, I don't know for certain if that's what they said, but it looks like we kind of came into that conversation in midstream, so... Hey, for all we know, they could... Or, he could think that we're all doomed. Uh-oh, I'm losing punies. And I lost them all. Great. Fantastic. Kapow! Okay. Really, I should have used the multi-bounce here. This would have been really handy. And I might see if I can get it uh, equipped at some point. I don't think I really need the close call partner badge. I mean, that's just like if at any time my uh, partners get to low health, all I gotta do is use um what's it called? Is just switch to a different partner, and I'll be good. So yeah. Oh, again. Oh well. I've been getting pretty good at this dodging thing and then let him hit me once, but yeah, it's not too bad. Alright, killed you. Dog's waking up. Kinda of scratching my back. Good doggy. Whoa, did that do three damage? No, just two. Oh, well. Two is good enough. Yes, give me your love, you toads. You know you love me. And there we go. Dead spider piter thingy. For nine star points. Hooray! That's handy. And now we lost... Oh, for a second there we lost Flurry, too. Alright, now, how do we get that? Uh... We should switch our partner over to Coops. He might be able to do something. Yep, there we go. All right, gotta make this jump. Yes, and this is the damage dodge partner badge. This will basically do the same thing that the damage dodge will do to you, except for the other team. There's a save right there. Well, we're up to 12 minutes on time, so. Oh, cool, star piece. So I think that we are just about at the point where we could stop this video because I gotta go to work in a little bit. But yeah, I think that we're just about done here. And let me go back up there because oh no, there you are. You, oh, come on. Punies can be such annoying people. But anyway, since now that we have all of the punies back, I think we're gonna end this part off. So this has been Nick V97 saying thanks for watching and stay tuned for part Twenty on my walkthrough on Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. I will see you guys later.